Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, all praises, all glory, and all honor be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechah Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the hopefully elect out there pushing this word of truth, sincerity, and indeed. Your brother Kapataza from the great millstone, Chicago branch. Coming at you with another quick, Lord willing, edifying lesson. And this is just a global market watch, okay? Starting November 1st, Saudi Arabia, the number one exporter of oil, all right? The dinosaur juice that makes the world go round. Starting November 1st, they're gonna begin restricting their exports, meaning they're gonna produce less oil. Why is that important? What is that gonna do? That's gonna cause the price of everything to go up. As you all should know by now, when gas goes up, the price of everything goes up. Because what? These, you know, this country, this world, it depends on gas to transport goods. All right, everything, you name it. You need gasoline to get it here. Be it plane, train, truck, all right, you name it. So when those prices increase, the cost of everything else has to go up to supplement that price increase. And they're doing this intentionally, strategically, because what? Saudi Arabia, all right, which constitutes most of the OPEC nations, they're tired of the US. They're sick of this bitch, okay? And they're mainly joining allegiance. They're joining allegiance to the BRICS countries. Who are the BRICS countries? Brazil. It's like, let me let this madness go past. The BRICS countries consist of Brazil, India, Slaka. Move fast, nigga almost hit me. Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. That makes up the conglomerate of your BRICS countries. But now you have a lot of other countries in South America trying to jump on the team. You got Argentina trying to get up in there. Saudi Arabia, all right? They finna campaign to get up in that BRICS, okay? And that's gonna formulate your next world war. It's gonna be NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, basically US, Israel, the European Union, all right? Those countries are gonna be what? Versus the BRICS squad, okay? Those countries that I just named. They're getting ready to go to war. What's going on right now? BRICS countries, which they're saying they're getting ready to introduce a new world reserve currency, which means they already have this new digital currency. They're gonna get ready to introduce that. What's that gonna do? That's gonna wage war against the US dollar hegemony. And like I've said, as well as the apostles on down that taught me this truth, like we've been saying for years, the US dollar was the main instrument that provided or afforded us the way of life we have here in this United States. This is why we're not considered a third world country. This is why we're not considered a developing nation. Why? Because the entire world for the longest, for the past 40 to 50 years, maybe even longer, you know, uh, since the 70s, all the countries that had to buy up U.S. dollars in order to trade internationally. And now that is no more. Now what you're seeing is countries are now using their own currencies and trading amongst each other, which is a direct gut shot to the U.S. economy, which is a posturing up, so to speak, against this whore of Babylon, man. And, and hey, man, one of the uh, proverbial, one of many proverbial nails in the coffin of this U.S. economy is Saudi Arabia joining BRICS. And while they're in the midst of campaigning to join BRICS, they're going to restrict oil exports, which means what? They're going to charge the United States more money to get their oil, okay? So, hey, what you're seeing is the ten toes breaking up. What you're seeing is the accumulation of actions, okay, economic wars, trade wars, which are going to result in hot wars, real wars, and ultimately the war to end all wars, which is the World War Three. all right, the War of Armageddon, all right, the gathering of the troops that is prophesied right in the Holy Bible.
nonetheless uh hope that was edifying hey, hey enough running my mouth we're gonna get to the scripture this is the book of isaiah chapter 33 verse 1 it says woe to thee that spoilest and thou was not spoiled it says and dealest treacherously and they dealt not treacherously with thee and what has the u.s been doing for the longest they've used their position all right as the world reserve currency they've used that to manipulate markets and to basically put all these other countries in a uh, in a headlock okay they've been able to preside and debo these other countries into doing what the fuck they want to be done in order to benefit uh, uh, the U.S. as a country, okay? I mean, hey, there, there's countless examples, you know, you can go look these things up for yourself. But basically what I'm saying is market manipulation, okay? And the U.S. has been able to get away with this for the longest. Why? Because they had the monopoly <laughs> on the world reserve currency. You know, everybody else, in order to play, in order to get in the game, rather, and play the game, they had to play by the rules that the U.S. had set in place, which is you're going to buy my dollar. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want. I'm going to exploit you and your resources however the hell I want to. All right. I'm going to make gold this much. I'm going to make silver this much. You know, just all type of ill dealing across the board. And what has that done? That has caught up with the U.S. Because now these other countries are like, we're tired of your shit. We're tired of propping up your economy. All right. We're the, it's basically a big F you to the United States. Hey, we're going to do what we want to do amongst each other. And that's going to result in war. Okay. And that's why it says in the book of Obadiah, the men of thy confederacy have deceived thee. All right. They that eat their, eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. See that? Because what? Esau in his pride. All right. And in, in here in America, in his pride, he's been subverted. All right. While Esau... All right, or while America was painted to be playing checkers, these other countries have been playing chess. They've been buying up gold. They've been buying up resources. They've been trading amongst each other. They've been strengthening their uh, artillery, strengthening their armies, all right? Creating more nukes, okay? So now the U.S. is no longer Debo, all right? <laughs> the U.S. is now the bully that's about to get bullied by these other nations. Nonetheless, continuing on, it says, and when thou... It says, when thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. And that's where we're at. That's, that's what's going on as far as the world economy is concerned, as far as the global market is concerned. Okay? So like I said, come November 1st, you're going to see a sharp spike in fuel prices. And when fuel prices go up, the price of goods goes up, man. All right? So, hey... <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm not the best brother at budgeting, but I think I better start learning how to budget. Nonetheless, you how about me? I was shy. Got us, man. He got us. All right. Hey, man, the Lord's will be done. And that's why it's so imperative for the believers out there to pray the Lord's prayer. All right. What is contained in the Lord's prayer it says.